Hi everyone, boy do I have some exciting news for you today. These cards were all made with the, a new uh, Stamping Up bundle called the Eastern Palace Suite. And because I'm a demonstrator, I was able to order this whole, whatever everything that you see here, the designer paper, the thinlets, dies, um, gold stickers, the list goes on and on. I'm going to show you the individual products as I go, but I wanted to first talk about uh, what they're going to be doing for customers. Starting May 1st to May 31st, Stamping Up is going to allow customers to start ordering this bundle. And what's really great about it is there's two bundles and the largest one um, is actually going to have free gifts to go with it. Um, those are going to be a package of the very vanilla envelopes that fit the normal size cards and also the new thick very vanilla card stock and that comes in 100 weight 24 sheets per pack so these two items will be free with the largest bundle and if you go with the smallest bundle and I'll talk about that in a minute you'll get the very vanilla note cards and envelopes. So let me clear my counter here and I'll show you all the products that come with this bundle. I'm going to start out by showing you three of the brand new in colors that will be available on June 1st. The first one is called Lemon Lime Twist, Tranquil Tide, and the third one is Fresh Fig. And when you order these bundles on May 1st, you'll have the option of getting some of these new in colors. The stamp set that is part of the Eastern Palace Suite is the Eastern Beauty. And you'll see all the images and there's quite a few sentiments. We even have some that are curvy. And to coordinate with that, we have the Eastern Medallion's Thinlets dies. I've actually put a added a um, magnetic sheet to the inside of my clear case and these are all of the dies. If you noticed on some of my cards some of them just cut pieces like this where you can flip them up they don't uh, automatically get cut off they're just partial cuts so those are very interesting and I'll show you some more of those as we go along here. Oh I just noticed I had a couple that there we go couple that weren't on my sheet so that's that's the set right here there are actually 14 dies in this set so it's a great set next we have the mini tassels that come in three colors the fresh fig the tranquil tide and the gold another product is the eastern gold vinyl stickers those come, um, it, there's quite a few patterns here. There's two sheets of each pattern. I did use some of them. Let me see if I can get a white sheet of paper. That way you can see them better. So there's one sheet. And if you notice, I cut part of the border here. You can easily cut these. So there's two sheets of those stickers. And then the next design kind of reminds me of the spirograph we had growing up as kids. So there's two sheets of these also. And just a little sample, this is what I used on my card here for the background. They're really neat and really add a nice touch to your cards. And with new ink colors also comes new cardstock. This is a package of assorted colors. The dapper denim is part of this, um, this package. And then we have the fresh fig and the tranquil tide. So there's 24 sheets, eight of each color in this bundle. And lastly, we have the designer paper, which I've used a little bit of. Two of them are specialty sheets, which are these two, which have the gold foil, um, very pretty. And then we have five other designs on this side. You can see they match and coordinate with all of the new colors. And if I flip this over, this is the other side. So mostly polka dots and then again, um, the spirograph looking sheets that I really like. 
So let's look at the cards that you saw at the beginning of my video. This was the first card that I made when I first got the set. As you can see, I used some gold foil. So some of these I popped up. So the leaves give it the, the 3D look. You can see how thick that is. And then the stamp image here. This would make a, a great stamp image for a coffee stain. I was thinking of that the other day when I was using it. The next three cards, some of you have probably seen on my blog. I had made them for a blog hop. So for this one, what I did is I cut out this shape first, which pops these sections out. And then I added the flower shape in the center. And then you just pop these up to give it that 3D look. And if you'll notice, the background under these medallions is one of the specialty designer paper sheets. And then I've also used some of the stickers in the center of my flowers. So that, that it got a lot of hits of, on this card on Pinterest. The second card, I cut out two of this little flower shape and I layered them on top of each other. I glued one flat and then I popped this one up so that it looks like a 3D flower. This would also make a great sunflower if you did this in like the Daffodil Delight and then a brown center. And then again, you'll see the, the gold stickers on the background, a couple layers of the designer paper. My third one for the blog hop, I had used two uh, separate designer paper layers, a little bit of a lace doily, and for this one, I actually stamped and cut this image out flat. This one didn't have any partial die cuts to it. These two little flowers are separate. And what I did is I added the tassel to the center of my flower, added a stamping dimensional on top, and then glued this over so you can't see the little metal ring that's underneath there. So that makes for a nice card also. My next three cards I just made this morning, and these are actually from Stamping Up. They actually came up with a sheet that tells you all of the supplies you need, how to cut your cardstock, stamping, designer paper, and then all the layers that you need for each one, and then how to assemble all three of your cards. So when I put this on my blog, I'll have this sheet so you can download and print it for future reference. So that's where these next three cards come from. You'll see this one here. So this one here that I cut is actually from two dies. You have this flower die in the middle that does the partial cuts, and then you have the frame around it. I'll show you what those look like. So what you actually do in your Big Shot, you could lay this one down and put this one spaced evenly around all the edges and cut that in one swoop. And then this will cut the whole thing out and then you'll have the partial cuts in the center. For the next card, we have some die cutting, some stamping, gold border from the sticker sheets, the tassel. There's a lot going on in this card, but it was pretty easy to, to finish up. So how I did this one is you use the gold, the larger gold ring, and then this one in the center, and you make sure that that's evenly spaced. And again, you cut this out together, both dies at the same time. And then you have the stamping in the center. You have the little um, Lucky Limeade. Is that what it's called? Nope. Lemon Lime Twist. I'm still not um, used to the new in color titles. That goes on the inside with the little stamp. And then these are also two separate images, a little square plus this little fancy stuff in between makes for a great flower looking image or a medallion looking image. And the last card uses a little bit of everything. We have the designer paper layer, the sentiment, the tassel, and then um, on the dapper denim layer, we have cut at a certain size we cut the die out and this lifts it up and then there's some stamping between each petal so this one was a little more complicated but again quite easy you had your first die your second die 
and your third die. So yeah, as you can see, you can mix and match all of these dies and come up with endless possibilities. So let's talk a little bit about the bundles and I'll have this on my blog also. So bundle number one is perfect for the beginning crafter. That one includes the stamp set, designer paper, vinyl stickers, lemon lime ink pad, tranquil tide ink pad, fresh fig ink pad, and the free very vanilla note cards and envelopes. That one is going to be item number 147. 196 for $60.50. And for those of you that order from me, uh, me quite often, you know that I have a host code on my blog for orders over $50, and this would qualify for free items from me. So don't forget to use the host code. On bundle number two is more for the Avid Crafter, and that's everything that I showed you today the stamp set, designer paper cardstock pack, mini tassels, gold stickers, the three ink pads, lemon lime, tranquil tide, and fresh fig, the eastern medallion thin lits dies, and your free package of medium envelopes and very vanilla thick cardstock. Now, I will also have available to anyone that orders these products free tutorials for five cards that you can use to create um, using all of these products. I showed you all of the cards I made so far. Three are from the Stamping Up uh, direction sheet and I will have five more on top of that. So that'll be a total of eight cards that you'll have direction sheets to follow. As soon as your order comes through for all of these products, I will send you the direction sheets by email. So look at everything that you get here. It's amazing for the price that they've set for this and this beautiful designer paper. So if you have any questions, make sure you contact me. Uh, check out my blog on May 1st. Oh, and I forgot to put the stickers in here. So there's even more. Thanks for stopping by and I look forward to your orders.